Hi, my name is James Gurney. I want to show you some extra innovations, kind of extra accessories you can add to the basic sketch easel. For those of you who are not familiar with it, this sketch easel fits right onto a camera tripod. It has a little flip-up gripper and it's useful for holding uh, a sketchbook uh, for gouache painting or watercolor or even for lightweight oils. But I want to show you a couple other additional things that you can do with this. Uh, this is a fold-up diffuser made by Clayton Bright, a friend of mine who sent this to me. Thank you, Clayton. And uh, this is neat because it fits into a paper towel tube and then it pops open. This is made of white ripstop nylon. There's a dowel here, wooden dowel, about a quarter inch or maybe a little bit bigger. And then the magic part to this are the pieces of measuring tape uh, from, a, from a measuring tape thing. And those things pop open and they're sewn around or glued around uh, the fabric so that when you put this thing on here, put it into the gripper, you have a uh, pop-out diffuser. And this is useful when you're painting toward the sun like we're doing now, uh, or if the sun is directly overhead, it takes the direct sunlight off your work so that you're working under a nice soft diffused light. Now, if you want to use the traditional diffuser uh, that I've talked about before on uh, other videos, that's made here with an aluminum frame. This is a Pendaflex folder, um, like a hanging file folder, but you can make one out of aluminum. But sometimes when you have one of these, the light comes in from the side, and that's one of the other um, innovations that I came up with. Uh, this is a sort of a side flange gadget, and it has two little clamps uh, that are attached with bolts and nuts through the handles onto this material. What this material is, uh, is cutting board material, which you can get uh, three sheets of it for a dollar at the dollar store. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like in the, in the package. Whoops. Here's the package of it. Uh, chopping mats, three for a dollar. So anyway, uh, that's perfect for that. And then this thing is adjustable so it'll go down sideways and give you protection from the direct sun uh, when it's coming from the side of your work. Now the third thing is what's lighting me with the bounce light. Lighting both me here for this shot but also lighting up my work. And this is a reflector and I'm going to take the reflector off so you can see the difference without it. This is made from uh, corrugated plastic and this is made from a reflective silverized sunshade that's made for blocking the light when your car is parked and the thinner you can get the better and you can hot glue that over the um, corrugated plastic which is just basically from a campaign sign a political campaign sign that you can pick up anywhere and look at the difference in lighting between with it, with it going and then without it. And I want to just show you, I'm going to turn the camera around here. Uh, this is a slight dihedral to this because it's scored on the back of the plastic. I cut a very light cut through just one surface of the corrugated plastic. And then that um, windshield material is hot glued down over the surface of that, wrapped around to the back, and I spray painted the back uh, black. Now this attachment point is made of wood, and if you look at it up close, you can see it's got a little handmade wooden wedge that'll fit into the quick release, and then it's got a little angle piece. These are basically just a gripper two pieces of wood with a hinge between them so it makes a gripper with a um, thumb screw to tighten it. And then because of this, these little thin strips of wood in here, uh, they hold the 
uh, corrugated plastic at a slight angle. And that just gives you a little more light on the subject. So there you go, three things. Pop-out diffuser, side flange, and reflector. All ways of really controlling the light and getting the effects you want for outdoor painting. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.